Good morning everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. Yes, there's been one or two problems. You probably know about a few of them and none of them, and none of them are serious, but nevertheless, issues. I'll take you over to the first one. Right, yes. The first issue with trains down here. Now, I just want to show you how easy it is to get this to get this lot out. But I must stress, this is not um, only if there's a major issue I would have to do this. This would lift out, or that, that tunnel portal lifts out. This lifts out, and all those little bits there. This comes out. Hopefully, you can see, I can gain access to those tracks. Now, what was happening is that there was suddenly some derailing going on inside there, and I've never had that before. So obviously, something that I'd built had caused derailments. Now, what I found was um, there was, I don't know whether it was the sun or the heat caused some kind of buckling. It could have been the heat, but there was definitely an issue down here and trains were derailing. So I was able to get to that quite easily and all of that inner track, oops, excuse me, this one, the inner loop has been replaced. So all of that, probably all the way up to about here, you can even see the screw in there, which you won't see in, when it's in the tunnel, obviously. But that was the first issue, but now trains run quite well up there, as you will see. So that's the first thing. Right, secondly, you might, note, you might notice now that that track has been replaced. That is now wired up or rewired. But the problem was with these points. Not so much the running, but they just didn't work. And likewise, if I take you around, those points there, if I remember, that crossover just didn't work. And the problem was, is because when I, um, I had to upgrade my iPad, I somehow deleted this, this operating version of, Z, of the Z21 app. So what I'll do now is show you the plan. Right, trying to minimize the, the, the light issue that we've got. Now that's the lower level track plan. Now do bear in mind if you get the Z21, this side of drawing the um, plan is a bit wild and you can only go with the loops that it lets you have. So you can take a loop and take it out and take it in, but the actual position of that track, might you might not get it on here exactly how you want it. It'll join up, but not in the right place maybe. And this is the one now for New Mills. You can see this wild junction around here and I can't get them to come together quickly, so I'm not gonna bother. And I'm certainly not gonna do it on cam either. But these points are now back in and these points are now back in so that they now work. And the way I had to do that was I can operate two points on the one address, even though they're both in separate decoders, by there's a little switch on the decoder. Now you can see these wires coming in from the point motor and that's going into the solenoid section. These wires here are going to the um, frog switching. So you have two wires, the, the either side to go into your track bus. Let me put my finger over that. And the green wire in the middle is the actual frog wire. Now that might need flipping rounds. So those two might need literally doing that. If you find the, you get a short when you're trying to cross over, it's literally just a flip over. Now the switch just there in the top corner, just there. Hopefully you can just see it there, a little slide switch. Okay, so what you do is you put it outwards, so then slot it out to the outside edge, then you flip your points left and right, and then pull it back again, and hopefully that should um, program the address you want. To get the address, you would go into one of the points, which I've just done there, and in the top corner you'll see a pencil, so go into that, and that's where I've got these particular points set to number 11. Now these, these two here, 
if you find this diagram when you flick it doesn't match up with what the track is doing you flip those two over so you it's it's one zero and you go zero one so it's the opposite and then hopefully that should just uh, match up with what's on here to what's actually happening with the points themselves right so i just go to show you that these points do actually work and i have to say they're working much better than they ever did um, before I would get one point switch and the other one wouldn't or one would go halfway and the other would do a complete switch and it was just had to keep checking everything and it was just a nightmare so that's that's that problem solved all right next Well, as you can see, the sound is back. Now, I had to disconnect it for a while and I have basically just got round to reconnecting it. I'll just go through basically how that was done and then I'll point you to the video for the more details. Right, so basically I've got a Bluetooth speaker in there which has got a hard wire on it and I've, I've opted for that. Now, basically, I've taken a wire out of that and gone all the way to that. So what actually happens is there's the wire coming in and this little bit here connects to the back of this. So that you get buzzing when it when it's not connected properly but that is literally just a socket connected to that little wire here. So that has restored that little problem. You might you may remember I had this um, set up a long time ago and I just have not used it very much but now new mills is a lot more operational I'll show you um, you'll have it an awful lot more now
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. As you can see down here in the industrial zone, with the HST just hammering past, you can see to your right the revised scene. That bank has been lowered, and I think it does look an awful lot better, so you can make sense of what's actually there now. All right, anyway. The top video will be the last one I did, which was putting the scenery in. And the next one, or the bottom video, will be number five on how I built New Mill Central. See you again soon. Bye for now.